Breastfeeding hurts so bad. <laughs> we just finished feeding her and now we're gonna go give her a bath. Okay, it's about 11 o'clock. She's changed, all dressed, I'm exhausted. I wish people would open up more on social media that have kids because the first couple weeks when I was going through this, I literally cried so much. Good morning, you guys. So the last time I fed Charlotte was probably 5.30ish and she fell asleep around six o'clock and now it is nine o'clock. And you can tell I was really, really sleeping hard over here on my face because my pillow left marks on my face. So she is squirming and she is ready to eat again. Well, she's actually sound asleep right at the moment, but she's been squirming over here. So we're gonna change her diaper. Actually, Jonas is gonna change her diaper because I handled her all night. So it's Jonas's turn to change her diaper. And then we're gonna feed her. Last night actually went pretty good, but you guys, this is seriously no joke. This is so hard. Like Jonas and I have been like dying and we've had a lot of help from people and his mom. And sometimes I just think to myself, like, how do people do this? Because it is seriously, like, the hardest thing ever. And I feel bad saying that, but, like, sometimes I just feel like I'm a really bad mom. Or I'm not doing that good just because I've asked for help. But, you know, everyone keeps telling me the more help you have, the more rest you can get. So, overall, like, you and baby will just be happier. So, I'm going to flip the camera over because Jonas is changing her diaper. So a normal day for me starts at seven because that's when I wake up to work out and then I'm at work by nine. Today I'm working from home, eh. which is cool. But so normally I wake up at seven to work out and Charlotte wakes up at like a different time every day, but today was pretty good, I feel like. She stayed asleep till nine. Um, so when I'm here, I do what I can to help. How you doing? She's not crying, which is cool. So we're gonna change her, feed her and it kind of starts the cycle for the rest of the day. It's just changing, feeding, crying, changing, feeding, crying. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Jonas rubs her tummy first so oh. she pees because she literally will pee every time we take her diaper off. Yeah, but if, if you rub it with a wet wipe, it's kind of cold, then she'll pee first so she doesn't pee on me while I'm changing her. Okay, it's 9.20. We brought her downstairs to breastfeed and she's getting hungry, you can see. <laughs> Where's your cute little pee, Charlotte? Are you so hungry? <laughs> okay, let's feed her. She's hungry. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's been like 20 minutes. We've done the left side. Now we're just burping her and we're gonna go for the right side. Also, breastfeeding hurts so bad. <laughs> She's not having it. So 10.20, we just finished feeding her and now we're gonna go give her a bath because she needs a bath. <laughs> She's doing okay there. Oh, Charlotte. Normally she's happy when she's done eating. Yeah, well the second boob was a little hard and I don't know, so. Oh. We might try again in an hour. The girls are getting some vitamin D while mom's getting dressed. Mello's being a good big sister. Good job, Mello. She's doing pretty good. Yeah. Normally she cries a lot more. Carla, did you get all clean? So this is Charlotte's little bathroom. We're not gonna show you her nursery yet because we're doing a reveal of that. But anyway, look how cute. Charlotte got a little bear. Oh, are you cold? Look at her shivering. It's okay. <laughs> gonna put some lotion on. Gotta warm it up. Gotta warm it up. Cute little mohawk. Okay, it's about 11 o'clock. She's changed, all dressed. And we're gonna try to put her to sleep. I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Eating breakfast at 10 o'clock. <laughs> no time for me anymore. Oh. Yep. Charlotte, so cute. This is the hard part, getting her to sleep. Yeah, but now that she's had a bath, she should calm her down. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. She's kind of fallen asleep, kind of, not really. But Michaela just finished breakfast, so I'm gonna pass her off so I can get back to work and hopefully she falls asleep soon. Okay, you guys, it's 11.30, she's asleep. Finally fell asleep. She fell asleep a little bit ago, but it's 11.30 right now. I'm just gonna chill here and maybe take a nap. Survival mode. Okay, it is 12.45. I just got some work done here at my home office. 
and I'm gonna go see, I think they're both still sleeping, but I'm gonna get some lunch, try and not wake them up. Okay, it's two o'clock. I just woke up and Lottie's getting a little fussy. So Jonas is gonna change her diaper and I'm gonna feed her. So we'll see if she can go a little faster this time. Every time I'm hoping that she'll just kind of get faster and faster. Hey, Hasn't that was a pretty good nap though. Yeah. You guys were out for a while. I'm exhausted. So funny. Okay, well, she's gonna eat and then probably nap again. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. So she finished eating. Grandma's here. Well, Grammy. She likes to be called Grammy. Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's your mom. <laughs> and just opening some packages, trying to put some stuff away. I'm warming up my leftover breakfast burrito. So I'm gonna eat that for lunch. So I'm just now eating lunch at three o'clock. Story of my life, but it's nice that I get a break because Charlotte's with Grammy. So I don't have to deal with her at the moment, which is really nice. Your Charlotte and Grammy, is she sleeping or? She's almost just hanging asleep. out. Yep, I got her to burp and I sang to her and I told her some stories and now she's gonna go to sleep pretty soon. She's just an angel. She's been awesome today. I'm I think so glad. She knew we were filming, so she's been oh, on her best behavior. Way to go, Charlotte. Because normally about three o'clock is when she first starts crying, but oh. she's just hanging out. She's given me about six smiles today. Oh, yes, that's cute. but your eyes are getting very heavy. Okay, it's 4.30. Jonas's mom was here for a little bit. She's gonna go get some dinner with some friends and I thought that I would get ready. I don't know why it's late, but I just felt like it because I just have felt so gross. You look and, good. Thanks. Went and did some stuff. She's sleeping. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, she's probably gonna need to eat here soon again. How do I look? Looking good. She'll be four weeks tomorrow, which is crazy. Can't believe it. I feel so dead. Nobody talks about postpartum. I knew it was gonna be hard, but seriously, never thought it was gonna be this freaking hard. I literally sometimes am just like, I don't want her, which I feel horrible saying that, but it just gets so hard sometimes. And then Jonas will just sleep in the night and then I'm up by myself and it's so hard. Sorry. And nursing hurts, like all of the above. I just, I wish people would open up more on social media that have kids because the first couple weeks when I was going through this, I literally cried so much because I would see other people post after just having their first baby and it was like, they're out doing things, this, that. And I'm like, are they breastfeeding? Are they just bottle feeding? Like, is bottle feeding easier? Like, their lives just seem so easy, but I know everyone goes through it. And after seeing a lot of people's messages, they were telling me like, you're gonna get through, it's gonna be okay. And postpartum depression can happen. It's a real thing and all these things. And I'm just like, why don't these moms talk about it? Because being a new mom, obviously you don't really realize it till you go through it. It's just like, I wish I would have known more kind of going into it because it was just rough. <laughs> I don't know, what do you say, babe? No, I'm with you. I'm with you. There's nothing. I mean, she's so great and we're so grateful for her, but it really is the hardest thing. And I thought when I was pregnant being sick that that was like, I was like, this is harder than going to the Olympics. I changed my mind. This is way, 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 way harder than just being pregnant. It is actually having the baby here, which is crazy because Jonas and I were like, we just can't wait for the baby to get here. And I know towards the end, you feel like that because you're tired, you hurt, you can't sleep, you're so big. And then the baby gets here and then you're in the hospital and it's like, it's a lot to take in. But then when you go home, it's like, whoa, like this is really hard. Anyway, I hope that through this journey and documenting things that I can advocate for some people or just be there for people who are struggling because now I've been through it and now I understand how hard it is to have a child. I could talk more about it and elaborate more, but that's just kind of the gist of it. I've been dying <laughs> and we're getting through it though. I've been trying to be really strong because that's the athlete in me, even though I'll be here crying and I don't think Jonas even really realizes it, but I really I realize it. Like... Hey, you've been doing good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's 4.45. She's been fussing, so it's time to eat. You doing okay? You gotta change the diaper, feed her, burp her, feed her, change the diaper again maybe. And that'll take us through the next hour. Right, did I miss anything? No, just eating all day, eating and sleeping. This is actually crazy. I, would you say this is the best she's ever been? Mm -hmm. Like by far. She hasn't had one like crying spell today. Normally, like early afternoon, she cries for a little bit and then late evening. 
Hey, little girl. She had a little poop, not much, and then she peed. You good girl? Yeah. Are you a good girl? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's six o'clock. We just finished feeding her, and then I'm going on a walk with my friend Molly that's actually in our ward at church. She lives like right across from us, so we're gonna go on a walk and get some fresh air. <laughs> She doesn't really like her stroller, but I guess we'll see. Let's do this. Charlotte, should we do a little YouTube update on our walk? Sound asleep. I need to do walks more often. <laughs> and we got Molly and we got Margo. It's so cute. So cute. Oh my gosh. Never would have thought this day would come and here we are. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back in my usual spot on the couch. Um, we went for a walk and that was really fun. It was really nice to get out of the house. And then I just kind of been chilling here on the couch. Jonas's mom was out with some family friends and she's bringing me dinner because Jonas is going to go play basketball. She's waking up. So She's been sleeping pretty good, but I think she's hungry. Three hours. She hey, dear. She's going to be changed too. Jonas is going to change it. I'm making him change it since he's playing basketball. Hey, little kiddo. So we're going to change her diaper and then get her some food. Okay, so just got done feeding Lottie and I'm just... Just ate dinner, I got some panda. Lane went and got me panda on her way home, filling up my water, and then Elaine was here, so she's gonna stay the night and help throughout the night, which last night she did actually really good, but it is nice to be able to like get some sleep, so I'll just wake up when she gets hungry or needs to feed, and then Elaine will help kind of get her to sleep, and then I can just go back upstairs and then get some rest, which is nice. So she's gonna be here for tonight, and Jonas was like, no, we shouldn't have my mom stay tonight. But then I was like, well, are you the one that's getting up in the middle of the night and having to feed? Cause he was like, well, we should just show him how the night goes. But I'm like, well, this is how the night goes sometimes. Yes. So Besides, I love being here. So anyway, so we're grateful for her help and Jonas isn't gonna wanna get up to film in the middle of the night and I might forget when I'm getting up and trying to feed. So anyway, that's how the night's gonna go tonight. We'll keep you guys updated. But for now, we are surviving. She is a little fussy right now at the moment. So I don't know, she might still be hungry. I don't know, but she did get some good sucks in. So that was progress. It was better for sure. Okay, so since Elaine has Lottie, I am just getting ready for bed, taking off my makeup and gonna try to get some sleep. It's almost, I think, nine o'clock. I'm gonna try to get as much sleep as I can right now because I'm gonna have to get up multiple times in the night to feed her. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good, doing really good. She was starting to get a little fussy, but I think Elaine kind of calmed her down, which is good. I hope that she can continue to get better. I've also tried going dairy free. So I think that's helped a lot. And it's really, really hard because if you guys know me, you guys know I love cereal. I love milk. I'm a sucker for chocolate milk. And at Dutch Bros, if you guys know what that is and you have one, during the fall, I always get pumpkin chocolate milk. And so it's been killing me not being able to go to Dutch Bros and get a pumpkin chocolate milk right now. So hopefully as she gets a little bit bigger, she'll kind of outgrow it and I'll be able to kind of add dairy back into my diet again. But it is seriously so hard, you guys, to go on a diet because during pregnancy it was really rough too because I couldn't really eat anything which was awful and now I feel like I still can't eat anything and I was like so excited to be done being pregnant and not feeling sick and nauseous and having to be on Zofran anymore but if it helps Lottie it's gonna make my life a lot easier and it makes me happy that she's happy and is doing better so definitely worth it but really really hard so I'm gonna get some sleep just taking off my makeup brushing my teeth gonna head to bed and then hopefully I remember to wake up and give you guys an update stay tuned so it's 10 40 i just got back from basketball look who's crying this is the longest she's gone without a like a long cry i know but we think she's hungry again hopefully we were talking and we were saying of course the one day that we filmed the day in the life she's like perfect <laughs> so today's been a really really good day we'll feed her we'll see if that I was knocking stuff off. <laughs> we'll, we'll feed her, see if that helps. So we just finished feeding Charlotte and I just came upstairs because Elaine is trying to put her to sleep and I wanted to run up here and hopefully be as quiet as I can. But I just wanted to show Mello in her little bed. She's going to sleep. Mello needs lots of attention too, huh? Yeah. 
Okay, heading back to bed. I'll probably be up very soon. I can hear her right now. She's grunting down there, so tonight might be a rough night. We'll see how it goes. Okay, it's 11.45. This is probably the last that you guys will see me. I'm going to bed and because my mom's here, which is awesome, by the way. We weren't planning on her coming, but she was in town, so she just brought an overnight bag and she's like, I can stay the night and help out, which is super helpful when she does. Right now, my mom is sleeping downstairs with the baby, although it sounded like she was fussing. Yeah, I didn't get a video of me down there. I came upstairs really quick and took a quick little video, but I didn't want to be there when she was fussing. I was like, I'll just run upstairs really quick. <laughs> Cause your mom's like, I got it, I got it, so. I was worried this was gonna happen too cause she's been so good the whole day. My poor mom, cause she'll probably just cry all night cause that's kind of what she does sometimes. But I finally have gotten her to take a passy. It just sometimes I still can't, I've tried. Well, I don't, I'm just her mom, so I just, I know <laughs> these things. Yeah, I know. It's nice when your mom's here, but then sometimes I'm like, I feel like if I mm. took her, I mean, I don't know, not saying that she would go to sleep, but there's just some kind of things that I feel like I've, been able to do myself to get her to go to sleep doesn't always work obviously but so usually she's sleeping in her little bassinet um over there right next to our bed we'll pull it like right next to mm -hmm. it we should probably do another day in the life at some point because i feel like today was not a normal i know day but i also feel at like... all today was like the best day yeah you guys are be like oh she's an angel i know i my friends <laughs> are gonna watch this and be like why have you been complaining because i promise most days are not like today but it's been pretty good and, yeah. and now my mom's here, so it's like we're off the hook for the I night. Know. I mean, I am. You still have to feed every three hours, but. I know, but I feel guilty though, like not. I know. I taking always. Taking care of her. I myself. always feel bad when my mom's here because I'm like, I, and I tell my mom, like, I feel bad because I feel like I'm not being a good parent. Everyone says if you have help, have help. Because yeah, take it. Because that. The more sleep deprived I am puts more stress on Charlotte, and Charlotte can feel the stress and it can make things worse. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I haven't had the help, which I, being an athlete, and being who I am, I'm like, I can do this myself. It was like when I pushed for three hours, I was like, I'm pushing her out. Like, I'm gonna do it. Like, there's that fighter in me. And so like, there's a part in me where I, it makes you feel guilty because I'm like, no, I can do this. I should be able to handle all this. And I know some people don't have help and they do get through it. But I feel like if I didn't have the help, I probably would be in postpartum depression, like bad because she has been that difficult. And I know some people probably have it way worse, but it has been really hard. I don't know, I feel like I'm a wimp. But honestly, like, I don't think I would be as good as I was today if I haven't had the help because I've had very many breakdowns, even with having help. So I think you're doing great. Yeah, I'm doing OK, I think. It's just my boobs hurt so bad. So it's horrible. <laughs> like every time she latches, I just want to scream. Yeah, that does and look she's painful. She's so freaking strong and she grunts a lot while she's nursing. And so she'll literally just boom pop off that sucker and freaking i feel like my nipple's gonna go with it but somehow it's still attached it's still Ouch. there i know you should ever just suck on your nipple once just to like to feel it <laughs> i don't know if How... i want to do that yeah you should i don't know if she can you latch on my I nipples go through. Anyways, I'm probably out for the rest of the video, but Michaela will do some updates when you feed her yes. and stuff. Anyway, All right. good night, you guys. See ya. Okay, so it's almost four o'clock and Charlotte is getting hungry again. <laughs> Are you ready to eat, Charlotte? <laughs> yep. Yep. All right, let's do it, <laughs> sister. <laughs> okay, so it is about 4 30 and i don't know if it's because charlotte is turning a month old tomorrow or if she was just really hungry but man she sucked my right side like no other <laughs> it was actually pretty good she did it really really good and it was only like for about 10 minutes which is like the fastest she's done and then burped her and then put her on my left side and it took her a little bit longer she was on it for about 20 minutes but she's asleep so she must have gotten enough she feels good, so I'm going back to bed. Okay, so she slept for almost like a good like four and a half hours. I woke up like right before nine and fed her. <laughs> she's trying to trying to sleep, but she's struggling a little bit. I was too tired to like get up and film this morning because I just rushed downstairs to come feed her. Elaine is gone, so I have her for the rest of the day till Jonas comes home from work. He left this morning. Hopefully she can do okay. I know she's struggling. Are you struggling? Yeah, are you pushing? Is your tummy hurting or are you pooping? I'm gonna go because I need my other hand, but 
she ate and hopefully she can go back to sleep. Okay, so it's almost 10.30. Charlotte is asleep and I'm gonna lay her down so I can go to the bathroom. I've not gone to the bathroom at all during the night or this morning and I'm gonna make myself some breakfast because I am starving. So over on the counter, I got a bowl out. I guess you can't really see it and some oatmeal. So I'm gonna make myself some oatmeal and then just relax. Maybe get some things done. She's sleeping. She's so cute. Charlotte, what are you doing? What are you doing with your arm? What are you doing with your arms? Well, Jonas is finally home from work. I'm back. I, it probably looks like I slept in this shirt. I didn't. I just changed <laughs> to my pajama shirt after I got back from work. Um, so it's been a little more than 24 hours. I wasn't part of the last little bit. How did the day in the life end? I mean, she's just been sleeping and eating. And then I finally ate breakfast, went to the bathroom because I hadn't gone to the bathroom like all night or all morning. Oh. I know. Means you're not drinking enough water. Uh, I feel like I am drinking a lot of water. Anyway, it's gone really good so far, but I think she's really getting hungry again. So that was kind of a day in the life. Nothing too exciting or Yeah, it was crazy. honestly her best day ever. Would you agree? Yeah, except in, for in last her four night, weeks of she life. Was, last night I could tell she was fussy with your mom a little bit, but when I had her the night before, she was really good. So I mean, she's doing better. It looks like Mello's on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Metal's on a pile of boxes back <laughs> there. Anyways, we're, we're gonna have to do this again so you can see like a real day. In, I feel like it wasn't a real day in the life because it was like an ideal day. Right. Probably not too exciting, but this is more like the Lottie we know. <laughs> that little girl. So that's a day in the life. Thank you everybody for watching. Let us know if you want to do this again, what else you want to see. And as always, thanks for the love and support. It's been a rough time, but a fun time. <laughs> we're grateful for all you guys following along. See you guys next time. See ya.